guys, this is Mike with Resistance Photography, and I'm going to show you how I got this image right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to the original image, and if you notice, the 17 and the 20 are backwards. Easy, easy to easily get that mixed up. Um, I personally would have done this accidentally, but uh, pretty much what happened was I'm in a photography group on Facebook, and one of the photographers posted this image asking if there was an easy way to switch the 17 and the 20. Luckily, the textures and the boots sort of match, so it's really easy to work with. So I'm going to show you how I got from that to this. So let me go back to the original file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer twice. So I'm going to drag it down to here. There's one. And then I'm going to drag it down to there, there's two. The reason I did that was I want one for the 17 and one for the 20. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch the 20 over to where the 17 is right now. Let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to bring down my opacity so I can see that they're relatively on the same spot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a layer mask and then... I'm going to go ahead and switch this over because I'm going to erase where the 20 is right now. Let me select my brush and erase that. And then I'm going to hit Command I on Mac and on Windows, I believe it's Control I. It's been a while since I've used a Windows computer. So we've got the 20. I'm going to hit Command Plus or Control Plus. And you can see where I've moved it so far so I'm going to switch back over oh let me uh, get rid of that right now and then I'm going to just kind of mask this in so it kind of blends a lot better we don't want too much of a difference and then so we have that now. I'm going to go down to this layer. And I know a lot of people like to rename their layers. For me, honestly, I work through Photoshop so quick that I just really, I know what layers are what. And I really don't care to rename them. I probably should, but I don't really care. All right, so I'm going to take this 17. And I'm going to move it over to where I think it should be. Bring down the opacity. And then we know it goes about right there. And then um, I was going to say, you can really put these numbers wherever you want them to go. But since the numbers were already there, I'm going to kind of keep them even um, just for the sake of the edit. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create another layer mask. And I'm going to delete right around. Oh, why isn't this? Oh, I clicked my brush. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and erase this sorry guys it's been a long day I know I'm goofing up but I'm just showing you basically how I do this and then since I've erased that I'm gonna hit command I and it gives me roughly about what I want so I'm gonna take it I'm gonna switch these over again and the reason I'm switching this from black to white is if you look here black is the space where the image is not showing and white is so white, I'm brushing on what I want. Black, I'm taking away what I don't want. So I'm going to brush this back in. And then I don't think I really like this right here. So I'm going to take it. And I'll just get rid of just a little bit. Just to kind of make it blend a little better. And that's it. I mean, if I wanted to, I can spend a little more time and kind of blend it better but like I said the texture is pretty similar on the boots I don't think it's that much of an issue but yeah that's it if you guys have any questions or any other tutorials you'd like to see shoot me a message comment uh, look at my Facebook at facebook.com slash the resistance photography or you can check out my website at www.resistancephotography.com I'll have those links posted below this video Give a thumbs up, give a like, comment, check us out, all that good stuff. Love you guys. Stay awesome. And I'm going to exit. Bye.